I'm Erin price Emery with Listed Vancouver, and I'm here today with... Chris Moore for Front Mortgages. All right, Chris, so today I'd like to ask you a question about credit. What does that mean when people say that you got to pull credit or credit score? Yeah, so credit score is essentially what banks or any sort of lender is going to look at to essentially dictate if they're going to give you that loan or that credit card or that car loan that you're looking for. So oh, okay. it's essentially a way that they measure if you're a valid borrower or not. Okay, so for purchasers, they're going to pull your credit. So what happens if you have no credit at all? Yeah, so if you have no credit at all, that mm -hmm. definitely can be an issue. So it's a really good idea to start building your credit. Okay. And it's a really good idea to also monitor your credit. There's kind of a magic number that lenders look for, kind of around 680 or above on your credit score. And that means you're going to be able to get the best financing possible. Anything below that, you might be looking at some alternative financing, but there's always lots of good solutions out there for any type of borrower. Okay, so how do you get credit? What do, like, how do you do that? So essentially, you start building credit by, you know, getting a credit card is a really good idea. Okay. Getting a line of credit with a bank is a good idea. If you have a car loan, that's going to start to build your credit. So any of those sorts of things will help you get your credit. Okay. So what happens if, you know, let's say when you're younger and you didn't pay off your credit cards, so you're kind of in bad standing. Is there a way to kind of rise up and build your credit score higher? Yeah, absolutely. I think the, the first thing is you want to talk to a professional like myself who can, you know, look at your credit and see what the issues are. Okay. Okay. The, the main thing is you want to make sure that you know you're not missing any payments. Uh, you're making if, even if you can't make the full payments, make those minimum monthly payments every month. And then if you're able to start trying to pay off your balances fully, um, ideally you know you're able to pay off your balances fully. But even if you're making your minimum payments, that's okay, and you can kind of start to build your credit that way. Oh, I see. Okay. So you always hear these things. A lot of buyers, a lot of people are always asking. Okay, credit credit score. Does it ruin my credit score if you pull my credit score and if a different mortgage broker pulls it? Yeah, so it, it definitely is kind of a myth that if one person pulls your credit score, it's going to affect it. That's not the case. If you have one person helping you and one person pulls your credit score, it's not really going to affect it. Where it does get affected is say you go to your mortgage broker and you go to maybe three banks and you have all of them pull your credit score at one time. That can affect your credit score. So I would just say, you know, try to find someone that you're comfortable with and have them pull your credit for you and try not to go around to too many places because when you have too many people pulling your credit it can negatively affect it that makes sense yeah that entirely makes sense okay so the long story short of it is get your credit build it up if you don't have credit start building your credit start doing something and then when you need something in time to find a home look for me i'm aaron price emery with listed vancouver i'm chris moore with forefront mortgages thanks